and uh, planning center. So I don't know. I was gonna look up there. She's in there, but he isn't. <laughs> using flash and using noise out of your film. That's it. All right, we're about to start and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thanks for this great evening, this great evening of music. Lord, after all, long, long time of COVID restriction. Now we are here, freely perform, freely lift your name, freely praise your name here. Lord, um, please be with us. Please be glorified. Please be praised. We want to lift your name through our mouth, through our singing, through our hearts, through our spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the first group tonight performing is our sixth graders choir, and please welcome them with your warm round of applause.
So every year at the spring concert, um, we select, or I select, um, the best student out of this group. So like grade by grade, this is one grade group, so sixth graders. Um, I will announce who's going to have outstanding male vocalist award and who's going to have outstanding female vocalist award and director's award. Not only this award, it's really hard for me to select just a number of people, select like restrict number of people because one day the student is a good kid, that student is a bad kid. Suddenly on the other day, that student is a good kid, the student is a bad kid. Well, this group, you know, these people are sixth graders, so we know, we understand they are sixth graders. So, <laughs> thanks. So, um, but I really, 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 really have to think about who is being a uh, big supporter of this choir and who were really willing to sing and lead this group. So I'm going to announce the name. Any case, if your name is announced, please come down and uh, you're learning. So, outstanding sixth grade male vocalist, the first one, goes to, oh, thank you. Samuel Ross. <laughs> the second outstanding sixth grade male vocalist. By the way, this does not mean his second. It's just his last name is just Cindy Warren. <laughs> so Sixth grade male vocalist, drum roll. Spencer Short. The third outstanding sixth grade male vocalist. That's Going to Sterling Short. <laughs> Our seventh sixth grade female vocalist. Thank you, audience. This goes to Caroline Hall. The second outstanding sixth grade female vocalist. Great, thank you. Goes to Anna Larson. <laughs> outstanding sixth grade female vocalist goes to. This one is Director's Award, so it's a little special. This one goes to... so that she can be added on to our song. Canta Teteo.
At this time, um, I'm inviting my conscious choir group. Conscious choir is a choir, um, middle schoolers choir, made of seventh, eighth graders, and biannually, seventh, eighth graders are performing the middle school musical. This year was not middle school musical year, but it was a high school musical year. So if your kids are current eighth grader, probably they participated in the middle school musical last year, you had to be junior. And if seventh graders, current seventh graders are interested in the musical next year, um, probably they can join to the choir because it's not an extra curriculum. They have to be a choir. Um, It was really hard for me to lead this group, not because of they are bad, but you know, they are shy middle schoolers. Sixth graders are not shy middle schoolers. Seventh eighth graders are kind of into that age. So I know their ability, but for me to take that out was really hard. And now I saw this finally today in the class time, I saw their singing ability was there. So I hope they do the same thing, and I am proudly presenting Conscious Choir performance. Everybody, please give them a round.
if you have any, any of you have washer and dryer from Samsung, <laughs> and after the washing and drying is done, that's you. <laughs> so if you feel like it sounds familiar, that means probably you have Samsung dryer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Eighth grade female vocalist goes to
This time, I'm inviting my constant partner member, Jill, to the stage. This year was truly, truly busy year for my customers because they were, as most of you know, um, they were preparing the High School Musical, the Reserve Halls, which was huge success this year. And on the same week, we were supposed to have concert at MPA, which is operated by, by Florida Vocal Association, and that is required for us to participate, for us to send some kids, some students, for all state edition next year. Um, so everything happened in the same week that was truly, truly busy week, right before the spring break, and they survived through it. And we got excellent rating on our concert FBA, and we got superior on our side rating on concert FBA. Um, 21 students out of 24 people were participating in the musical, and we had four all state people, so it was a huge successful year for us. And please, at this moment, welcome concert choir with more proud of us. It's fun. 
end of the second song. The reason that we programmed it this way, the first song, Lamentation of Jeremiah, is all about the book of Lamentation of Jeremiah. And if you can recall what happened in the book of Lamentation of Jeremiah, God was giving the prophets prophecy to the Israelites uh, that Jerusalem, this big city, will be collapsed. This will be collapsed. However, Israelites didn't live. However, it could be, as the people who know the history of Israel, it was collapsed, but the light was still there. Light was still there. And but the scholar, Ezra, and Nehemiah, eventually the Israelites came back to the Jerusalem. They rebuilt the city. That's what happened. And as the people, as the people who know the history, we still know that the eternal life is in Jesus. So the first song of this program is about the prophecy of the city being collapsed. But we as believers, the second song is all about the eternal life. Jesus is the eternal life. So please hold your bottle until the end of the song.
introducing Mr. Trill, and he's going to conduct this song, All Things New, and I'm joining into the choir. So first row, split a little bit, center is mine.
before we sing the last song, um, as most of you know, this is my last concert at Kazakh Christian School. Um, last four years was really great experience, even including COVID. <laughs> That's first and last, but last four years, it was awesome. Awesome kids, awesome students, awesome people, awesome parents. Um, I know many of the parents wanted to help our department, but among those parents, I really want to say thank you to some of them for their special support and big support. Whenever whatever happens, they were willing to jump in and they just made things happen. So it's just the order of last name. So if your name is called, I know it's kind of embarrassing, but I want you to stand up. <laughs> so Mr. and Mrs. Bingham. hold the applause until the end, because maybe those people will not hear their name. So, Mrs. Johnson, is she here anymore? Good. And Mrs. Larson's, no, Mr. and Mrs. Larson's, and Mr. and Mrs. Montanasvina's, and Mr. and Mrs. Navichak's, Mr. and Mrs. Rivillas, and Mr. and Mrs. Rosses, Mr. and Mrs. Williams. I truly, truly want to the least gratitude to you, all of you, and thank you so much. So to, for me to prepare my next chapter, usually the music department, music people's step is two-step process. So first step, colleges filter out people only through applications. And if they like a certain amount of number of people, they like twice or three times the number of people, they send an invitation for audition and interview in person. They prepare the choir, and I just go there, have an interview, and I just conduct them for 15 minutes. If I show them things that I prepared well enough, and if they like me, they select me. If I fail to show what I prepared, they don't select me. So it's kind of a nerve-wracking experience. On top of that, I was preparing the high school musical, which happens Saturday. And I was supposed to fly with a Red Eye flight, mostly it was West Coast. So Red Eye flight to this area. I had no clue because I'm flying with domestic flights. You know what I mean, right? It's canceled, it's postponed. I was not sure whether I could make on time for the musical process. And these people were willing and ready to jump in. If, just in case, thankfully nothing happened. But just in case, if something happens on my flight, these people were ready. These people already know what I was, knew what I was preparing. And without these people, I could not prepare my second chapter and the musical. So I just want to show my gratitude to these people who are, if I call your name, I know it's again embarrassing, but please come up to the stage. <laughs> Shanda and Wendy and
Um, well, I can say any word. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> attention to students again. So it's award time. I'll be picked up for this one. Um, you guys know the drill, right? <laughs> Outstanding ninth grade female vocalist. Thank you. Avery Larson.
special tradition. At this time, I am inviting all the senior members of the choir to the front. And what I ask to them is share their future plan, like what they're going to do. If they're going to college, they're going to introduce what they're going to do. If they don't, they're going to introduce what they're going to do. After we hear all of their plans, I am inviting you to spread your arms to them. And we're going to pray for them all together so we can bless their lives, future life together. So, senior members, I'm inviting you.
I was trying my best to hold myself. It was really hard. Seniors, stand. Come here. Let's do our drill. Um, I want. I, I invite you to spread your arms to those seniors and close your eyes. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that you created the seniors from the beginning. They were already in your plan. Lord, now we are about to send them to the world. At this moment, we are gathering our hearts and bless the seniors. Jehovah Rapha, we believe that you are the healer. We know that you are the giver and you are the taker. If there has been any hurt in their hearts, please heal it and utilize it as fertilizer and as the source of wisdom in their lives. Jehovah Jireh, we believe that you already prepare whatever they need, although they can't see. Please guide them to take with their faith whatever you prepare for them. We believe that you know better than us and prepare the best as their need. Jehovah Roy, now the seniors are about to make their own decisions more and more. Please give them wisdom and let them see you more to see the way, rather see the problem and hardship. Jehovah Shaman, as you have guided and guarded these people from their birth by far, please let them know that you protect and care these young people. Even in this tough world, let them confess that you are alive and leading them. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Before we sing the last song, there's a reception prepared after this concert, so please go to NPR. Uh, reception is prepared in front of the NPR, and there's our show going on, which is actually the opening night. Today is the opening night. So please enjoy reception and enjoy our show. And this is our last song.
very much because